so now this is the time to add our gateway router so gateway router is going to be another service which is going to compose all the subgraph currently we have this uh, user auth service already added that is uh, just uh, i mean that is composing all the subgraphs coming from the user auth service or any auth service uh, we have and we can see that already up and running these are the the documentation of uh, queries and mutations exposed by user microservice or authentication service now what we can do is next thing is we will put a gateway in front of it okay that gateway is actually going to compose all the subgraph coming all the microservices currently we have auth service but maybe in a further videos we will create couple of more microservices and we will then the gateway will compose all the subgraphs together here what i did is i added couple of uh, more math mutations instead of just for the demo i used only create user login sign up and the basic uh, queries and mutation but further you can also create add admin remove admin permission reset password update user by id and you can create your custom auth guard custom guards to validate okay you have proper permission to update a user object and all these uh, basic things now next thing is uh, working on this uh, gateway router so for that we are going to use uh, apollo federation okay because we are already using this uh, graphql uh, module the sgs graphql module and uh, we are using the apollo driver config so this gateway router is going to be another simple uh, nest js service we are going to write for that we can look into the documentation how we can create a subgraphs and this is how the composition will work it will compose the subgraph coming from multiple microservices and it is going to create as the final schema okay uh, if you look into the documentation we have to explore a lot of other options like uh, the different directives how the composition really works if you talk about simple node.js setup this is how it works it reads the graphql configuration and then pass those into the graph apollo gateway in the nest js way it will be little different because we are using a nest js framework and it is also has its own way to uh, do this composition of subgraph like this in the node.js we are doing introspect and compose and we are just passing the subgraph so nest js also not doing things differently it is also using the same strategy introspect and compose all the subgraphs and then this is how it will works the client app will send a request to the gateway and gateway will send a request to the subgraph from the query plan so let's see that in the the real picture okay so let's build our uh, gateway and we will look into the documentation how it is being done in the nest js so i will just try to find it in the place where it is being done yeah here uh we can see uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. scroll down yes this is what i'm looking at so this is how we are doing it so we are using apollo gateway driver so it is taking two arguments the driver server and the gateway inside gateway we are passing a uh, super graph stl and then we are doing introspect and compose and passing all the subgraphs like user subgraph post subgraph review subgraph and all the subgraph which we can pass inside a subgraph array so these are the three critical points the server uh, gateway and the driver driver visa apollo gateway driver we are going to get it from uh, apollo gateway introspect and compose so we need to get it from the apollo gateway this is how we do it and we are already using a schema first approach to write the service so already auth service is there now we are going to introspect and compose only one subgraph i mean ideally to fully utilize it we need to have a multiple microservices multiple subgraphs and then the, this the, that is how the composition really works so this is our uh, app module we'll just write our code inside this for the gateway router this is actually a small nest just service you can say gateway service here we will add module and inside module object we will do the imports import is a nest just a graphql module so inside a graphql module dot for root and here we are going to pass all the parameters uh, for this graphql module initialization this is the apollo driver config and it takes multiple arguments server gateway and uh, yeah inside server that is the first argument inside we can just uh, 
do a handle authentication like we can initialize the context so we can just use the handle auth this is the function we are going to create later and then another argument of this is so we can create a function handle auth so we can handle the simple authentication at the gateway level what it will do is it will just check okay you are passing the authorization header step one the authorization header is valid if you have a secret key you can decode the jwt token and can just check if the request is coming with a valid authorization header all those checks you can do in the handle auth method driver is apollo gateway driver and then we are passing gateway inside gateway we can pass the whole object inside gateway we are going to pass all the subgraph uh, definition so gateway is uh, third parameter survey is the server is the context then driver is a apollo graphql driver inside gateway object we have build service i think build service uh, if you wanted to populate couple of uh, headers before even sending the the call to the remote subgraph then you can use a build service and then there is another argument is super uh, graph sdl and which is using new introspect and compose all the subgraph and here we are pass, going to pass the array of all the subgraph this is an array and here you are going to pass the graphql endpoint and the the subgraph name like the user and home so these are the you can pass them from the process.env and this build service is just another method uh, which you can use to override the headers and send those headers to the target service that we may or may not use for now like let's say we have just only server driver and gateway it, because it has an access to the url and based on the url okay i wanted to send some custom header to the auth microservice custom header to the home manager service all those custom override can happen through the build service this is like a prerequisite step pre-processing happens before even sending the request to the target subgraph so for now we may not need it so we'll just uh, remove it and this apollo driver config i guess we are not importing from the right place okay now we can just uh, write handle auth handle auth function is going to have an access to the request object so we can do a lot of things uh what i thought in my mind is we can once we have access to the request we can just check do are you passing the request dot authorization if yes first we will validate that uh, because there can be a public api also so if you are passing the authorization then only this particular case is applicable here we first we will uh, decode first we will get the token we will just trim the bearer from the authorization header and then we will decode it there are two functions we are going to write get token and decode token const decode equal to decode token and we'll pass the token value if everything is good uh, what we can do is we can return the the properties and whatever we are going to return from this method will be populated inside a context that context we can access at the graphql service level so here we can just uh, decode whatever the value we received like decoded dot user and decoded dot permission and we have to return something which is going to be populated inside a context the user id permissions or let's say a couple of properties i think there is a typo that we can fix and then authorization we can forward the same authorization header to the services so we will just append a bearer and then request dot header dot authorization so now we need to define this get token and decode token methods the get token is just like uh, trimming the token with the space and then getting the the first element and verify we are getting from a jwt json web token we are passing the token string and we also need to have a secret key at uh, the gateway level so that you can you should be able to decode the token with the same secret key using which you actually created the token okay so it's like a gateway level validation we are doing and with this i think we are done with this uh, gateway it's like a minimal setup i am doing with just a simple handle auth populating the values inside a context we need to populate the secret key inside secret key and these uh, 
sub graph API endpoints in the dot env file, you are not able to get the correct token, then we'll just throw HTTP exception, otherwise return the decoded. Uh, there is a typo here. Okay, so this is pretty much about the gateway service. Now this gateway service we need to start for because we can start the gateway service only if the subgraph service is running. Because it is dependent on all those. Here we don't need to call it. This is already a callback. So handle auth remove the arguments and uh, this is pretty much. So we'll just start the service. First we need to start the subgraph service. Currently we don't have a home manager API. We just have a auth API. We'll populate uh, that in the environment variable and then we will see both the, both. Of so here we are and let's run both the application. First is this is the auth service npm run start dev and npm run start dev, dev to our uh, another service. Here also we can do npm run start dev and let's see if we are able to successfully spin up uh, the gateway because gateway uh, will look for any possible errors which we have in any of the subgraph because it is doing the composition currently we have only one uh, subgraph which is the auth api but let's see how it goes npm run start dev and it will start it first of all the auth service is already running and this is our subgraph uh, this is our gateway service and it, it throws some error let's see what it is it is saying a valid schema couldn't be composed because uh, unknown type file is found i think we are using some unknown type file somewhere in the auth service for now we'll remove it because i thought of we, we are going to upload a user profile picture for that i was using this file type but uh, we don't need it for now we'll just remove it this file type we are using at the rate key and external because we are expecting that this file type will be coming from some another microservice another subgraph but we don't have it right now we have only auth subgraph so for now we'll just hide it and we will just uh, just save it and we will rerun the application or we'll rerun this because you, we are you are updating the graphql file so it, it won't start automatically so you need to run this npm run start dev then you need to start the gateway npm run start dev and i hope now there is no any error and it should start our uh, gateway service so once gateway is ready we will just check what, on which port it is running okay it started and then we'll just go and uh, check what it is giving us so uh, the port is for this is i think is 5002 okay we can just uh, look at the schema definition at 5002 what we are getting okay we got something else and now we can query your server this is the gateway server we have and uh, i mean the look and feel is little different here because this is you are using is apollo gateway and uh, here it is exposing you it is this is the schema currently we this is coming from only one subgraph which is auth authentication service so all the inputs all the queries mutations uh, some input types and defined types are here you can query this same as you are querying the auth microservice this is like a query mutation all the scalar types input types directives all are defined here so it's just like i want to, to just showcase you how it looks like but uh, this is just an interface provided by apollo graphql for the gateway now you you, you can use the same endpoint but with a different port 5002 to send the queries and mutation instead of hitting the the target subgraph we are hitting the gateway and gateway will take care of uh, executing the queries and mutation so this is the endpoint so what we will do is we will go to our LTR client and we will check get the documents and here we can just again just do the user sign up and user login let's see a small demo and how it looks like we are doing a simple sign up first through the mutation this is a create user and we'll just pass some dummy email and password string one at the rate gmail.com and uh, let's say the password is string string and just create this user so this user is created now we can use this to, lo uh, to log in the same email password currently we are hitting gateway not the target authentication service so the gateway is forwarding this request to the target subgraph
so we'll just copy this and we will try the the login api let's hit this so what it should give us it should give us the same result uh, to current the user object yes we got it now you can set this in the authorization header and can access the refresh token all those things are possible at the gateway level so this is pretty much i wanted to show you from the the gateway it is hitting this target subgraph you can see this re these requests are coming from the gateway to the target authentication subgraph okay so this is pretty much about the v6 setup now we will add other services uh, to this gateway and we will see the real composition by using these custom directives at the rate external at the rate extend at the rate key and all